And in terms of going to Mars as a survival plan, if you think about uh, what could put life at risk here on Earth, uh, that could include, you know, global very serious pandemic or asteroid strikes or we trash the climate, uh, whatever. Um, to think of Mars as Earth 2.0 could only really happen after you terraform Mars. And the point I made, which was not in your clip, was if you have the power of geoengineering to terraform Mars, then you have the power of in geoengineering to fix Earth and turn Earth back into Earth as opposed to Mars back into Earth. So just realistically, shipping a billion people to Mars or however many, um, I, by the way, I have nothing against that. I just don't see it happening based on my read of human behavior. So a lot to unpack there. Uh, look, I, you know I've got massive respect for you. I also have a lot of respect for Musk. I also like the fact that he dares to dream very big. And I actually had the, the honor, actually, I would describe it, of spending a couple of hours with him down in France in the summer, where we got into the colonization of Mars and why he felt so passionately about it. And he said a few things. One, he said, we have to do this because at some stage, planet Earth is just not going to be a viable place anymore, was his belief. Secondly, that inevitably at some stage, planet Earth will be incinerated by the sun Anyway, we don't know when that will happen, but one day it will happen. I'll get your response we do. to that. We, we do know when it will happen, but yeah. 